Hi, welcome to a new episode and uh, I'm Dr. Nagy and today we're going to talk about uh, uh, a sleep apnea appliance that we oftentimes use for uh, patients uh, who have obstructive sleep apnea and um, all of these appliances uh, tend to work in a uh, uh, similar way which is they all uh, mandible advancement appliance uh, which is basically an orthodontic appliance and um, <clears throat> so we're going to talk about uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, sleep apnea appliance today which is happened to be the Somnomad uh, uh, Fusion um, there's a lot of companies make these appliances there's nothing uh, special about this one I just happen to like the Somnomad products because we have a lot of patients who wear them and we have had really good luck with them um, I have a lot of patients who actually wear the Flex which is uh, uh, a little bit different than this one. The, uh, this one, this is the Fusion, and these have these removable fins for extra activation. I'll tell you about that in a second. The Flex uh, model have a fixed fins, so they cannot be removed. <clears throat> so this is the Fusion where the, where the where these wings, these fins will actually come off. But uh, when we talk about uh, obstructive sleep apnea, um, you know a lot of these patients have uh, um, a retrognathic. Uh, mandible that falls back when they sleep and obstructs their airway and they no longer can then breathe and they have uh, uh, AHI index <clears throat> that's uh, usually larger than five and that's how you get diagnosed for obstructive sleep apnea uh, for mild, moderate to severe. Patients who have severe obstructive sleep apnea, they get oftentimes uh, CPAP as well as a lot of times moderate uh, sleep apnea patients as well. Um, but there are some patients who um, have more mild obstructive sleep apnea or they cannot tolerate the CPAP. Um, we have uh, several patients who are very happy with the CPAP and they have no problem wearing it. But we also have several patients who actually wear these appliances and they're really happy with them. And when they get retested for uh, um, for sleep apnea, their indexes are really good. They no longer have uh, sleep apnea and they're feeling really good uh, with ju just with these appliances. So that's why I thought it would be good to um, to review this and go to uh, how this works and how you can make it for your patients. I don't. Uh, we don't get any endorsement for some Nomad. We don't get paid for them for doing this review. I just happen to like this product because uh, um, I've had patients over 15 years who, who use these and they really have not had any complaints and they, they last a long time so we really had good luck with them. Um, <clears throat> so basically um, what happens with these uh, patients with sleep apnea a lot of times they have uh, a retrognathic mandible so oftentimes they uh, skeletal class 2 uh, and then what happens their tongue is of course connected to the the mandible, so as they sleep, the tongue and the retrognathic mandible, the back set mandible, obstructs the airway, so they no longer can uh, breathe and uh, uh, it, uh, uh, you know, so they have a AHI index, which is indicates how many times they stop breathing per minute. <clears throat> uh, that's larger than five, indicating that they have sleep apnea. Uh, so these appliances, uh, the way you fabricate them is, you have a patient who's in uh, CR, or uh, and then uh, you are gonna have your patients go to maximum protrusion, and then you're gonna uh, take a construction bite at a certain percent of that maximum protrusion. Obviously, you can't just have your patient protrude all the way because they will not be able to tolerate uh, <clears throat> wearing the appliance at such a protruded position. So you will. Uh, uh, the best would be is uh, uh, depending on your experience or and how much you like to activate these appliances. Um, sometimes, you know, you, do, you just come about four, uh, three, four, five millimeters forward. Uh, some doctors like to do more, but a lot of these appliances, you can titrate them later with these removable fins, and um, um, <clears throat> uh, you can advance the mandible more once the appliance is fabricated. Um, so you're simply going to take a construction bite at a mandibular advanced position at a certain percent of the total protrusion. Uh, basically, you're going to have your patients advance maybe four or five millimeters, take a construction bite, and then the company is going to fabricate your appliance. Uh, these appliances are really nice. They, it's a hard plastic on the outside, but it's really soft on the inside. They have like a soft liner. If you like to have extra retention, you can add ball clasp here. That's, uh, you have to request it. These do not have it. Uh, some of our patients have the ball clasp. Uh, most of them don't need it, and they're just pretty happy with 
with these appliances just as they are but you can request ball clasp and that will give you extra extra retention <clears throat> so when these appliances come back these uh the the fins are always on the lower part of the appliance um and they are uh you know they see it on the model and the upper part is the one without the fin and uh, the way these appliances work of course is these fins guide the lower jaw forward as the patient closes by these notches that are cut it's basically like a twin block you can think about it as a twin block and, and, and these appliances have been around for a long time and and it's not a new invention they've been around for really a long time with uh, uh, <clears throat> with the mono, with the mandible advancement orthodontic appliances such as the herbst and twin block and uh, such appliances so this is basically just a modified uh, twin block appliance that's how you can kind of think about it um, these fins are removable they're uh, you know they are the fusion uh, version of these somnomad appliances come with these extra fins that you can remove and you swap them out for some extra activation you can also <clears throat> activate the mandible by turning uh, this screw and that's going to advance the mandible more so there's two ways you can advance the mandible more and titrate the, these appliances you can uh, micro adjust it with this little screw um, that's uh, actually on both sides of the appliance and um, you can make just micro adjustments here or you can make larger advancement by changing these uh, uh, fins that's going to give you more of a activation for this appliance so <clears throat> when you get it you're gonna see this make sure your patient's comfortable with it and then uh, uh, you send the patient home and uh, and then we, you bring him back after a few weeks and see how they're doing. Are they feeling better? You can redo the sleep study to see what their index is after wearing the appliance. And if you do need to make some adjustments, if you have to make a lot of adjustments, for example, their, their index is still uh, quite high for, for obstructive sleep apnea, uh, you would probably want to take one of these fins off and change it out to a larger one. Um, you, these appliances come with this key and there is a hole on this fin and all you have to do is just simply push this uh, uh, little tool in here that unlatches. There's a metal clip in this uh, uh, this fin and it's going to unlatch that metal, metal clip and then you can simply pull off <clears throat> uh, this fin off of this metal clip that holds it and then you could uh, attach a, a new uh, new fin to uh, this appliance and you make sure you match the sizes of course on both sides so they all label li uh, right and left and they have zero one two and three and then the new uh, fins you just simply uh, place on and then all you have to do is just simply click it on and be careful that you don't bend the, the wing and <clears throat> that's really it that's how simple uh, these appliances are it really is just think about them as a twin block with where you can actually replace the blocks themselves so with these fins you will be able to make bigger adjustments to the appliance and do some titration for your patient and again don't forget that <clears throat> you can make smaller adjustments by simply turning this uh, screw um, here it's going to make smaller adjustments for advancing the mandible and that's really is um, how simple this appliance is um, now <clears throat> there is another version so some nomad makes the fusion which is this the fusion with the replaceable fins they also make the flex i actually have used the flex um, a lot longer than a fusion the flex has been around for a long time the flex unit is where the fins will not come off there is a least expensive model which is called the air the some nomad air it's made out of the blue acrylic i really like the air for patients who had uh, TMJ trauma <clears throat> for example they were in a car accident a snowmobile accident or they have any kind of trauma and they hit their jaw and now they have a severe TMJ pain um, I have had several patients uh, um, who just simply couldn't get comfort from a splint, simple splint because they had so much uh, 
TMJ injury from uh, from an accident. So I have made them a uh, Somnomed Air appliance, which is very very similar to this, except it's a lot less expensive. It's just made out of a blue acrylic. There's no adjustment screws. The the fin's not removable. Everything's just set to your construction bite. So you, I just created a low construction bite, simply just advancing the mandible, not more than three millimeters. That takes the pressure off of the TMJ joint. And it's amazing, and patients can really wear these appliances even during the day. And um, uh, these patients who were in an accident and they have this TMJ trauma now, um, they find quite a bit of relief by uh, by wearing one of these appliances that takes the pressure off of their joint. And usually after wearing it about three to six months, they feel much better and the joint can heal because this appliance simply takes the pressure off of the joint. And uh, um, actually we had several patients that it, it worked out quite well. And that one is the <coughs> Somnomed Air, which is a, a blue unit. And that one can be used for sleep apnea uh, as a sleep apnea appliance as well. But um, you cannot make any titrations like you can to, to this uh, fusion unit. So I hope you found this uh, um, review helpful. And uh, I, you know, I strongly suggest that you look around. Different companies make these appliances. This is just happened to be the one from Somnomed, but there are lots and lots of companies who make these um, uh, obstructive sleep apnea appliances. The TAP appliance is very popular. Um, and there's just really are a lot of appliances that uh, that's similar for uh, for Medicare. <clears throat> there you have to use a certain and approved ones. Uh, the Herbst is uh, one that's uh, Medicare approved. So you have to make sure you check the patient's uh, insurance and uh, depending what kind of insurance the patients have, uh, you have to choose the appliance um, that actually uh, their insurance would cover. Medical insurance will not cover for for Medicare um, any kind of uh, sleep apnea appliance. They have specifications for which one it is covered under the Medicare uh, plan. Um, but uh, anyway, um, hopefully you find this helpful. And if you have any questions, just uh, send me an email or let us know. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.